Before I hit the freeway and battle the notorious rush hour commute that is known as the Monday commute, uh, I got some breaking news to talk about, and that is Nacho Piatti has officially left Montreal and has head back to Argentina, and that he is going to be going back to San Lorenzo, which I'm assuming that is probably the club where he's going to be retiring since there's been a lot of reports for the last couple of months that he wants to go back to Argentina. He wants to go back to San Lorenzo, which is kind of his dream club to retire as a player. And he also wants to be closer to his family, which his family is currently in Argentina. And in some way, this is why yesterday when I did the season preview for the Montreal Impact that I spent majority of the video talking about Nacho Piatti. And I know that there's been a lot of rumors surrounding Nacho Piatti potentially leaving Montreal. And I think I even said it in that video where the reason why I haven't really talked about it in any of the news of the week is that I didn't really want to believe these report until today when it's actually officially confirmed that he's leaving Montreal to go back to Argentina because remember how in the the off season right before when Montreal picked up his option there was rumor that he was going to go back to Argentina and I kind of reported on that stuff and I thought that was just really silly and then you know these report once again surface again in these last couple of weeks and I thought it was just kind of something that is going to be very silly again and that there's just no point of me talking about it and just going to say this is of course not going to happen. Now, at the same time, am I shocked the fact that this, of course, have happened? Not really. Again, you know, these report, as much as I think it's a silly kind of thing, there's definitely some truth of why he's going back to Argentina. And as I said before, he's going back to Argentina because he wants to retire as a player at San Lorenzo and his family is closer there. And, you know, today, of course, was officially the day when they announced he's no longer with the Impact. Now, the good news for the Impact is, is that, you know, they, despite the fact that they did lose Piatti, and that's definitely going to be a big hole that they're going to have to fill heading into this season. Uh, there is a report that they are going to get at least two player in South American and two Argentine player that could be coming to Montreal, and that Montreal, of course, would would sign them in these next couple of days. And when the it does announce, I will make sure I include it in the news of the week. So it's not like Montreal didn't get anything out of this, and that Piatti didn't leave Montreal for absolutely nothing. Uh, I think think they're going to at least get a couple of young South American players that hopefully can be replacing in his place. Although, you know, anytime when you're trying to replace one of the best player, if not the best player they ever had in club history, and such a legend that is Nacho Piatti with the impact. And also, in MLS, it's definitely going to be very difficult, but at least the good news is Montreal ain't going to really have to kind of search to see if they are going to to find a replacement for him because there's been reports that they are going to at least get a couple of South American players in returns of of bringing Piatti back to Argentina and back to San Lorenzo. But yeah, let me know in the comments below, what do you think of this news? And certainly if you're a Montreal Impact fan, you know, I know this is kind of a sad day because one of your legends have officially left the club, but you know, heading into this season, what do you think is going to happen? And that how you are going to be filled that hold that Piatti, of course, left with this team. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.